Hi, my name's Flossie, and this is my tiny home, a step van conversion I did myself. This week we are living off the land, off grid, foraging for maple blossoms and plums. Look at the colours of these. My fishing license, check, bull. Like this guy's huge. Wow, thank you for showing me. See? Where I'm getting them, the impact, how often other people are going there. Oh yeah. Electricity. Power, batteries, solar, off-grid living presents its own unique challenges. It's a nice to have, like a sailboat, to have a diesel engine, but you don't want to use it. My fridge is on, my laptop is charging, we're doing great. I get really excited this time of year. The world is coming back to life. Nature is budding and sprouting, and a lot of these things are actually edible. The reason I'm picking from this branch is because it's no longer attached to anything. Foraging is not only free food, it's an excellent way to supplement our diets with healthy nutrients. So got back in from the beach. I'm gonna go back out there in a minute because I want to collect some clams. This shoreline is very sandy and not rocky and although I prefer to dive in rocky places one must make hay while the sun shines is the saying. Um, every location has its different resources. I have some beautiful eggs here. Look at the colors of these. These were a beautiful gift from a Patreon um, and I want to use them for something really special. So I have a huge pile here of maple blossoms and maple blossoms are actually edible and very delicious so long as you pick them before they get maple keys. One of the gifts of spring. So we are going to make a, a maple blossom pancake. Mwah, really exciting. Very tasty. I'm going to pop some maple blossoms in my fry pan. And then just cover them in eggs. Oh, that one was almost blue. The white ones are not actually white, they're kind of blue shells. Beautiful. shell is like almost blue like these ones blue green they're absolutely amazing so i'm gonna add extra cheesy protein and nuts i've been reading this book really good eat some food and then go to the beach and look for clams. Speaking of books, this is a beautiful workbook that one of my dear friends created. It's about ritual and magic as you envision your end of life and especially as a queer person this book i'm reading which i really love and then i recently went to a cd saturday and picked up this book so a lot of new interesting research literature that i'm consuming at the moment about plants and herbs in the kitchen and growing things um and their environments with which they grow and all of that kind of thing i'll put the links to this book this book in my description and the names of the other two books as well so you can look them up if you wish to <sighs> yeah 
feel like educating oneself and reading I find it much easier to do when there's a specific interest I have in mind otherwise I end up watching videos and lectures to gather and research information Mm. These blossoms are from a big leaf maple. Mm. Crunchy, delicious, fresh, sweet. Clams. Hopefully, this afternoon, we might come back with some of these ones. Probably the native little neck or a manila. manila little neck i do see a lot of horse clams and their bivalves sticking up through the water uh when i go diving yeah it's a very cool book back. aren't these the most gorgeous eggs you've ever seen look at these stunning colors i feel like these shells i might keep see if i can poke a hole and blow the egg out or something all right i have my fishing license check Ball, check. Spade, check. Gloves. Warm clothes. Gumboots. Let's go to the beach and see if we can find some clams. Different types. I'm gonna have to go back and like check out which ones are which to identify them. These ones are too small. Leave the small one. I'm gonna wear my gloves, but I like doing it with my bare hands. The sun has come out. Like this guy is huge. Horse clam. Yeah. This one. Yeah, that's horse clam. Yeah. And then. This yeah. One. Wow! Thank you for showing me. Yeah. They're yeah, so welcome. pretty. Know the limits you're allowed to take, the opens and closures for the local areas. The fisheries website, while difficult to navigate, is generally pretty clear. Guess who has very wet feet? Oh dear. Back in the van and we have our clam. Oh, did you see that squirt? Sitting in salt water to purge all the sand uh, I will do this multiple times this is ocean water the next one I'm gonna do with salty fresh water like a really lot of salt to um, mimic ocean water but cleaner yeah look at that little foot footsies <laughs> I really appreciate you watching my clamming video we're gonna take a very brief break because I would like to talk to you about a sponsor that is supporting my channel and during this tough time it is really meaningful to have your support so we're going to talk about living off grid powering this van and being able to work 
off off grid and offline um and maintaining my power system because here in the british columbia's uh northwest sunny days like today are not always common good morning i am going for a dive today but yesterday it was pretty rainy and there wasn't very much sun out so my batteries need a little juice my, i did a lot of work on the computer so i'm gonna plug that in I wanted to show you one of the unique ways that I am able to keep my batteries in this vehicle topped up when I'm traveling. Right, let's take a look. If you've been watching this channel for a while, you'll have seen this, my garage, the underside of my bed and a massive storage area for all my things. Under here, I have my lithium batteries here outdoor stuff and today I have a new guest back here I have my diesel heater this is currently empty don't worry and other things behind there paddleboard etc today I wanted to show you this giant battery system so on days when it has been super cloudy my, my solar panels are not bringing in much power so when I'm working, this is really crucial for me to be able to continue working, to continue charging my electronics, etc. To publish and edit videos for you all. So we are going to plug this in today and charge the batteries. I am excited to have these on board. They charge really quickly. Big thanks to Blue Eddy for this free gift. And I will be putting a code for you all for a discount down in the description box below. I am not getting paid for this other than this wonderful gift. batteries are going to charge really fast at 1500 watts to be able to give my batteries a juicy top up with this is fantastic I am really stoked to be working with Blue Eddy to use these batteries and at the moment I'm just using this bottom one so I have then this one here later which I can also use they charge really quickly. You can control the batteries from your app, whether you want it to slow charge, efficiently charge. So it's if it's plugged in, you're only charging overnight when your electricity bill is cheaper. If you at home have a CPAP machine or you want to travel with a CPAP machine on the road, this is the perfect kind of thing to take with you. So right now I am only bringing in 113 watts from my solar my batteries are in bulk state of charge and i haven't brought in very many watt hours if you see only 140 watt hours this morning um it's still pretty early and my batteries are at 14.1 i currently have a power drawer with things charging my computer is charging my fridge is on and my phone was charging prior to this so it's doing well now back to our regular programming I'm making a clam curry, garlic, ginger, chili, coconut, mmm, like a coconut cream sauce. Oh, it's so delicious. Can't wait to share you the recipe with my patrons if you want to get the full details. Otherwise, enjoy. Get rid of this. Then we're going to give them a really good scrub. There we go, all cleaned. And if you wonder why I cleaned them, and <laughs> that's why. All right, so new salt water, put it in, leave for a little bit while I cook some rice. I have deep respect for the process that I go through to learn about the clams, to harvest them, to clean them, to prepare them. It feels like a really beautiful nature understanding ritual and 
the fact that I only will take what I myself can consume. I have a lot of respect for the life of nature, understanding how old these clams are, where I'm getting them, the impact, how often other people are going there. All of that kind of thing is very vitally important to me. Um, so we have to rinse them one more time um, in fresh, clean, salty water. And then I will start preparing some rice. And then I'm going to do a coconut, lime, ginger, garlic curry. Mm. Yeah, coconut milk instead of like, you know, a creamy clam chowder kind of sauce. But I'm going to do it with coconut and lime and ginger instead. Okay. My accumulated paper trash. There we go. Look at this cute little whale I got given. It's gorgeous. Thank you so much. Time to rinse this next lot of dirty water out and cook them. I made up this beautiful garlic, ginger, chili, spices, lime, and what oil and wine vinegar, white, uh, rice wine vinegar. It is a little bit of um, a little bit of maple syrup, maple syrup in there too. I'm gonna start cooking. Get that uh, fragrant, and then put in my coconut milk. And put in my clams. I already cooked rice with ginger and it looks amazing. And then I'll add the maple <coughs> blossoms in the fry pan and saute them with crispy greens to go along with this beautiful curry. yesterday. Whoa. Well, this is an absolute blessing and a gift and I feel so honored to be doing this and I really hope it tastes good. Mmm. Mm. Yeah. Wow. What a treat. Oh, it is so tasty. I'm not quite a prepper, but should anything drastic happen in the world, I want the security of knowing I know how to feed myself, forage for local things, live off the land, especially if I move to a cabin somewhere remote because of the warmth. So, but yeah, it's really lovely to be here. And it's kind of noisy because there's a houses that way, but I'm trying to explore more of the coastline where I am and it feels good to do that. I have probably a week, about a week left 
before I am preparing to go on a really big trip. So I have a lot of stuff to do in the van to get the van ready. I feel like a sailor about to do some provisioning. So, yeah. oh, I got the hiccups. Um, it's really lovely. I came also down here because I was photographing and um, taking some video of some pottery that I have recently finished and am going to be listing on the website. And I have one crochet hood thing too that is on the website. I need to get better photos for that. So that's one of my other today jobs is photograph everything. <laughs> Things like I'm trying to do a little extra to bring in some extra finances because I am, as you know, between jobs. I'm going to say that because this is a feels like an affirmative way to say it. Between jobs, uh, I'm almost out of money. I should get some money from YouTube and Patreon pays out, but the timing of things is just not lining up. Anyway, I thought I would put some of that on my website and say here make have some of the beautiful art I've created and take some gorgeous photos because I won't keep the pottery I can't keep it it will just get destroyed in my van but I think this is one of the most beautiful mugs I've ever made yeah my pottery is definitely improving there is a really nice size handle yeah and a cute octopus I am so proud of this mug and I'm excited for one of you all to have it. <sighs> it's really, really lovely to be here at the beach. Um, I feel like I'm just taking a hot minute to relax and recombobulate and recenter myself after a crazy week, two weeks of grieving and change and yeah, my nervous system has felt like it's been through the cheese grater. <laughs> I think I like that saying. Uh, it feels dramatic enough but also real feels good to do that. I have probably a week, about a week left uh, before I am preparing to go on a really big trip. So I have a lot of stuff to do in the van to get the van ready. I feel like a sailor about to do some provisioning. So, yeah. oh I got the hiccups. With my battery, I have an inverter charge controller. So I've plugged this Blue Eddy unit, the AC240 and an expansion into my inverter and that then is charging my batteries and I'm running off of that, it's fantastic. With these two batteries, we can connect them in parallel from 2,400 watts at 120 volts up to 4,800 watts. At 120 volts. So great to unlock more capabilities, have a larger and heftier amount of power. In parallel the discharge load limit is 4,000 watts. I don't even think I can imagine one single item that would be 4,000 watts. I really appreciate that this battery has a 30 amp plug with the NEMA 30 amp output port. So if you have an RV or any appliance that requires a larger 30 amp plug, it's like shore power for land and sea. The Blue Eddy AC240 has an IP65 rating, which means it is water resistant and dust proof. For people like me who live out and about, this is crucial. To know that 
my life and the moisture, dirt and dust that is a natural life dust occurrence, it's pretty good that this battery will not get damaged by my regular everyday use. With the app, you can monitor real time the status of your battery. You can control the power consumption and customize the working modes, update the firmware and troubleshoot any technical support. Join me in living off-grid with this Blue Eddy. Connect your RV or your boat. Charging on the go. It's one of the world's first IP60 rated, which is your dust and moisture resistant outdoor power station. Sweet. Great, my battery is pumping. Which for those of us who want to live on the wild side is a great support. Bringing in that solar, baby. 2400 watts output 2400 watts so it's all marked here the capacity for each and like this one here is a hundred watt USB-C for like laptops and stuff you know a huge thank you to Blue Eddy for sponsoring me this week with the AC240 and the B210 these batteries or solar generators when I have solar panels eventually, are gonna be a huge support to me being off grid, very remote and in the middle of nowhere. Some of you who are Patreons might know that I'm about to take a really big trip and taking these with me is gonna make a huge difference to my being able to work on the road, being able to continue to edit, power my solar, my Starlink, with this also, I am going to be completely power sufficient for my needs, which is such a relief when traveling long distances. I'm really excited about it. Um, I have a discount code, which will be here somewhere. I am unsure actually at this moment whether I will get any kickback from that discount code. I don't think so. These products have been provided to me for free, which I'm very grateful for. Um, a product placement more than a sponsorship. But I'm very excited to have these as part of my off-grid system to be self-sustainable in my van. There are a lot of companies out here marketing off-grid power systems and batteries and not all of them are created equal. I really trust the Blue Eddy systems to be reliable. I will continue to test them and continue to include them in my videos over the coming months as I am traveling, as I am coming back in the spring to work on my tiny house project. I know a few of you have been asking me what happened to it. I have, with all that's happened in my life, you've seen the videos, you know it's been a little dramatic. I haven't had the spoons and the energy to get onto this project. I have started back on it and I am collecting footage, so probably in a month or two. Because <laughs> I'm a little behind with some of the videos to publish, you'll see some tiny house updates and I'm excited to share with those with you because I will absolutely be using these batteries when doing that project. I will need some power tools, some skill saws, some jigsaws, that kind of stuff. And this battery is going to have the oomph to use it. I've been using my generator in the past and that thing is noisy. It's a nice to have, like a sailboat, to have a diesel engine, but you don't want to use it. You want to be using your silent solar generation or a battery reserve that you've charged up earlier. I'm hoping that this video does really well so that in the future I will get sponsored again with some solar panels to charge these so as we head into summer. I'll have some extra power to come in so that if we get a couple of cloudy days, as we tend to do in here in British Columbia, the Pacific Northwest, sometimes the sun doesn't come out. It gets rainy, it gets cloudy for a week at a time. That makes solar charging a little bit more difficult. It's not like the Southern US where it's sunny and hot all the time. This is a tropical rainforest. And if we go camping somewhere, which has got complete tree cover, it means that I'm not bringing in power. So this, will keep me safe, keep me powered, able to work on the road. Thanks so much for your support. Check them out. There's a uh, link in the description. Check it out. And I thank you so much for your support. <sighs> Look at her tucked away in there. Can you hear the bird's nest up there?
so lucky to be able to look outside my back windows and have this gorgeous view. Full battery. My fridge is on, my laptop is charging. We're doing great. Thank you so much for everything, the ways you enrich and support my life and I hope I can give back and share joy and love and heartfelt thanks in this creative form back to you to enrich your life. I'll see you next time. Bye!